So we are going to the 11th ward. Oh, hey, someone's playing electric guitar. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Seriously, I love this game. All right, let's go to the residential district. We're going to the specified ward, 11th ward. All right, here we go. We're on our way. And we're going to go to plot 47. Let's take a look and see. It's going to be in the subdivision. So let's see what the nearest aetherite is to 47. So there's 47. So that's going to be the Lavender Northwest. That's where we're going. Lavender Northwest. And there we go. This one. All right, so 47 is this one right here. This small house ahead. Oh, this is so cute. It's an, I love it. I like the walls you chose. Pretty. I just love all the, all the housing in this game. <laughs> I can't help myself. This is my happy place. Look at the yard. Pretty yard. I like the pine trees. Reminds me of Georgia. We've got lots of pine trees here. Nice garden. Little stepping stones. We've got pond and a teepee. Or is it a wigwam? I'm not sure. It's a teepee or a wigwam. It's one of them. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go on in and check out this house. All right. Oh my, look. Ooh, dreaming lovely. I like this. This is nice. I love these walls. I love this rough stone stuff. It looks so nice. And you've got the, um, yep, the ice chandelier, not the, the one that is stationary that doesn't move. I like that. This is nice. Look at the entryway. Oh. There's that never melting ice partition. Or that's the, the loft. Very cool. Phasmascape. This is pretty. Mm. Nice. I love this fireplace. This is the best fireplace in the game. It's so nice. There's the guest book, which will come and sign. Okay. Got a little room underneath. We'll look at the loft after this. We got a little room under the loft. This is so cute. This is just so cute. I like it. Let's go on up. <gasps> the shark is guarding the betta, the prized betta. Oh my. That is so cool. <laughs> that looks so cool. Nice. Like the cushions. My Dodo wants to sit on your cushions. That's your guppy named Guppy. He thinks he's a shark. <laughs> Very cute. He is a shark. He's a shark in his own mind. We can be what we want. <laughs> All right. I love the use of the lofts. You know, I haven't seen a whole lot of people use these, but they're really cool when they're used the right way. Really cool. Oh, look. Nice. I love the way you've done your little hallway here. So many people don't realize that you can put stuff in this in this little nook here in the hallway. And it really makes a difference. It looks so cool. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, look at this. I love it. This is lovely. This is lovely. Very pretty. I love yellow roses. I do. I really love yellow roses. In real life, I love yellow roses. This is beautiful. I bet this looks really pretty in the daylight, too. Oh, <laughs> that piece o'clock. Poor thing. 
knocking itself in the head. Yellow is your favorite color. It's beautiful. This is lovely. So nice. I love your house. I love your house. Your kitchen, pot of honey, and the bread and the cheese. All right. I love these wood tables too. These wooden, um, the wooden stump tables. I don't know anybody. I, I, I don't know if everybody else loves these things like I love these things, but they are a great item that they put in. I love it. And this is so cute with the little mushrooms everywhere. Oh my, I love this. This is awesome. A fish, fish tank. What is this fish? Is that a, is that like a, gosh, what is this one? I don't even remember what that fish is called. It's very cool though. This is nice. Oh, look. Yeah, I can't remember what it is, but it's a cool fish. I see it a lot. It's very dramatic. It's striking looking. You know, pretty. I love the way you use this glade bed. You know, this glade bed is hard to make look good in, in a place, you know? It, like, just, it's so big, and um, it just doesn't look right when it's sitting alone in a room. But with with... The way you put it in here. This is amazing. Beautiful. Really beautiful work. I'm so inspired. I'm about to tear my house down and uh, and redo my house. <laughs> I've been looking at people's houses for weeks and weeks now. And I'm just like, I got the itch. <laughs> I got the itch. I want to I wanna do something now. This is awesome. Love it. I love it. With all the fish. Oh. So cute. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Little place of chairs. Well done. Well done, Dreaming Lovely. This is basically your den. This is adorable. This is really nice. Well done. I really like this. Thanks for inviting us to come look. This is awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Very, very nice. So, did I see a guest book here anywhere? Oh, there it is. Well, I have to sign it. I don't have to tell you where my Twitch stream is because you already know. This house is absolutely adorable. I just, I just love the downstairs so much. All the fish and your guppy named shark. <laughs> That's so cute. Well, thank you for inviting us to your home. That was so much fun. I feel like I should probably go back to the first ward. Um, in the lavender beds and go back to the subdivision and let's see it's 9 30. i am gonna take a three minute break and then we'll go and look at a few more houses um and we'll actually go we're gonna go and look at um we'll look at the lily hills apartments um because i like to look at i like to look at accessible housing i don't think that you were here for my spiel um earlier but because housing is so hard to buy on our server, I have started like going in. I like to look at small houses because usually that's what's available if a housing plot does come available at all. It's a small plot. And I like to look in people's free company rooms and at their apartments to see, you know, how people are use, using those small spaces. You know, it is unfortunate. It's unfortunate because we have a lot of new players now and the only thing that they have access to is um, a free company room or an apartment and it's unfortunate but i have seen some really amazing things done in apartments and free company rooms and so i like to go find the really cool ones and just you know help people get an idea of what they can do with the small space that they have available so that they don't feel like they're missing out you know because um, there's a lot of stuff and fun things that you can do with these smaller spaces 
So that's my housing philosophy. And that's what I do on this, uh, on my Twitch stream as I go out and I just try to find, you know, um, cool things that people can do in small spaces most of the time. Um, I at least I try to give a lot of, a lot of time and space to those things because that's what's available for people now.